Yo, bro, am I getting hit? Bro, how long he got banned? Is it a perm? We report House 10 and nothing happens, yet all these House 11 leadership get perma banned from House 10 reports? Oh, that is not good, Stun. Like, I'm done with this game. Earlier. It's day 46 on Global Conflict 9, and this glory race is as close as they come. House 11 barely leads with 817,637 glory, and House 10 trails with 813,735 glory. And despite House 10's monking efforts, House 11 still gains more glory every day. House 10 needs to come up with a new plan of action or else they're going to lose this glory race and forfeit one of the last two stars left to House 11. The plan. We need more glory. I have an idea. We can just report them all. That's exactly what I was thinking. At Outlaws Return Under Attack Outlaws Return I'm banned About that It's permanent Myself Lord Vahid Flepke Irinag Soilu Eru Iluvatar Vahid And I are perm Five main players got banned Including House Marshal For no reason It was targeted bans in House 10's favor Because they got scared Meanwhile I have a vac near me I reported a vac, and he got a few day ban, but he continues to buy. I have seen it. We have 1000 alternate accounts of house one, and Ray spawns into closed county with spawn bot feature. No one has ever got banned. Conlala post video on YouTube showing dank brownie bot in background, and again no ban. With no specific explanation for the bans. House 11 can only speculate the reasons for the ban. The players are confused since House 10 is the house whose players cheat the hardest with a special third-party software exposed in this video. Here is a whitelist of all the players' names with access to this cheat. Regardless, not a single House 10 member got banned. If you play more cards than Careless, outrank him, outrace him, or any of the big Russian players, you get banned. It's clear that the Russians have something over Firefly Studios. At Birdie Boy, being attacked, it is proven enough. Six server wins in a row. All the possible equations we've seen, and we beat it still. Half of the house got banned. Still came back and beat the Russians. Global Conflict 8 is forcibly taken from the Russians. We were going to win Global Conflict 9 as well, if we would not all been banned. Best option is to ban everyone that is a threat, and so on. They've got to let the Russians win else they will quit and Global Conflict 10 will not make them any money. Right when we need to stop House 10 for taking a star, we get target bans and lose our lands and war perishes. Even if our guys get unbanned, it is way too big of a loss and cannot be prevented. So therefore not worth it. I do not see a single House 10 member banned. Many House 11 players disgruntled at Firefly's decision decide to charge back their crown's purchases and quit entirely.
strategic conquests, and a reign of dominance, House XI decided to embark on a new journey, life after stronghold kingdoms. House XI, no longer bound by the virtual constraints of alliances and sieges, found itself in a vibrant world teeming with real-life connections. As members strolled through the town square, they encountered intriguing individuals. Gone were the days of relentless attacks and the constant hum of virtual warfare. House XI embraced the tranquility of life after stronghold kingdoms. They built peaceful retreats in the countryside, surrounded by lush landscapes and chirping birds. House XI reveled in the serenity, finding solace in the quietude that replaced the constant clamor of digital warfare. Their castles, no longer strategic strongholds, became havens of peace and calm living. Life after stronghold kingdoms, it seemed, held treasures far more precious than the virtual riches they once pursued. And so, the tale of House Eleven's journey in the real world unfolded, a testament to the richness that life beyond the stronghold could offer.